When we talk about preconditioning programs, I think we have to set realistic expectations. Uh, one, what are the economic returns of preconditioning? We'd like to receive more than those cattle are really worth when they're preconditioned in a cow-calf operation. So realistically, we're looking at somewhere normally between an eight and 10 cent premium on preconditioned calves. With that said, there's no guarantee you're gonna get it. So when you precondition calves, economic evaluation is critical. If you're not guaranteed that you can receive a premium from those cattle, it may not pay you to precondition them. It will improve the health and performance of those cattle the rest of their life and improve the marketability of them in years to come when you try to sell your cattle. But if feed costs are too high and you cannot achieve a gain of a pound or better uh, economically, maintaining that cost of gain below what they could do it in a grow yard or preconditioning yard, uh, then you probably should just opt out of the preconditioning program for the year. But once again, you need to try to achieve about a pound, a pound and a half in a preconditioning program that can be done on feed or grass and supplement, uh, but that should be your target. If you push them too much more than that, you wind up putting condition on the cattle that is then discounted as they are sold into the marketplace. So evaluate your economics, make sure you have your cost under control when you go into preconditioning program and know what the market for those cattle is gonna be when they come out the other side of it.